Hello everyone, and welcome to the sequel to our Philosopher's <sighs> Stone playthrough. This has been one we've been looking forward to for a long time. A very long time. In fact, more so since we realised that there was actually a PS1 version of this game. Because we actually started recording a GameCube ver version of the run, but... Uh, it was we, too normal. <laughs> yeah, it was too normal when we realised the graphics were actually good and it had a good sound. We fixed it, and yeah, it was good, it was fun. And But uh, we might do that again another day, but for today we're here to be looking at the PS1 version. If it was to be a, like an edit, this would be the meme edit. This would. This is the meme edit. <laughs> right, let's get started. Let's oh, have a look at dear. what's happened since since last year at Hogwarts for old HP. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll work on it as well. Nah. No. Okay. Well, we're going to do safe states. So. I was just going to I mean, do don't, don't need to spoil the magic there. No Sorry, pun yeah. Oh, God. That's a loading screen. <laughs> Remember the last time we looked at that, we were we had messed up the. Uh... Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen this time. But I'm I'm actually quite excited for this. So looking at oh god, oh my god, <laughs> her face. Why didn't they go with the drawing thing they used last time? That would look good. Mm. I like those. That was fine, but no. I mean, they thought... oh. <laughs> you think this looks bad? Just wait till we get in game. I mean, I have a, like a weird soft spot for the the. Uh, Storybook form of this opening, so it was kind of disappointing to me to learn that uh, they kind of models kind of look like this, and it wasn't just drawings. Oh no no no! They totally. Oh! <laughs> it might as well just die now, mate. It's like Dobby's wearing an apron. Oh my god! Who's <laughs> <laughs> fucking that voice. accent? Is the best. Harry Potter must not go to back to Hogwarts. <laughs> god. Like they found the cheapest Dobby <laughs> and Dobby ever. drove away in his Ford Anglia. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Harry Potter must not go to Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> like some comedy horn. <laughs> <laughs> Get in, loser. <laughs> now, Chamber Secrets. 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 Um, we did a movie commentary on our old channel, which uh, oh, yeah. uh, I might leave up all the movie comms on that channel actually. If people want to watch those. We'll see. We possibly could do it again at some point if we do want to carry on with that series. But yeah. But um, how many did we do in the end? How many did we do? Did we get up to Goblet of Fire? We didn't even get to Prison of Azkaban. Oh, okay. We just did the first two. Yeah, we were had plans to do the third one. We just never I think it's just because we talked about a few of the films and what we're going to do for it, but we never did it. So um, basically, what are your thoughts on Chamber of Secrets? As I did it again. Secrets. Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> we know what this fucking part's called. <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> Chamber of Secrets, what are your opinions of that book as a, slash oh, film as, as a, a sequel? Whole. Like, ignoring the fact that there are other f other stories after that, what do you think of it as a sequel to Philosopher's Stone? I think it always did a really great job. I remember this being more of my jumping on point to Harry Potter. I remember this more than the first time I watched Philosopher's Stone. Really? For some reason. I think I had this on VHS. Do you mean, you presumably mean the film? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I know I had actually I had the book first, but there's a, we've done this before. But as a whole thing, I do really enjoy James Six, and I think it did quite a good job. I actually enjoy it more than Philosophers, and mm. the, the pure reason for that is it's a mur oh. it's a murder mystery. I love murder mysteries, <laughs> and that's some <laughs> Harry, my help! My, my, my eyesight's getting worse. I'm looking over your head. <laughs> I can't tell which part of his face is which. I would like to point out that in that in the beginning cutscene, it did say Harry was not allowed to use magic. Yeah, in this next one, Ron's just like, "Oh fuck that, Harry! Just use your not bad jinx." When you look like that, you can do what you want. You're untouchable. In He's literally unfuckable. In the last, well, it's, it's amazing he got with uh, Emma Watson then. <laughs> um, in the last book, it, he said that uh, it said that he had spatigrate in order to make sure Voldemort didn't break in and murder his family. I think he has actually got Spatagoy in this game because he's he's adjusting to it now. He's setting that lie in now, setting the seed in. It's like, those, what is going on with that chicken? Oh, have you seen his legs? Oh my or god! Or pencils, as I will call them. I mean, I, I've already spoiled the fact that we're playing this game. What the fuck just happened there? Oh my god, I'm booting the feathers off of it. Jeez. Right, I did just say what the camera. That was the wall you went through. The camera is really smooth on this, actually. I mean, I I spoiled. Well, we've really... got to praise it for something. I said we're I'm um, using this in an emulator. The control is actually really good. I'm mm. really digging this. I think it's okay because I do own this on GameCube and whatever else. Well, not this fine. version. Well, no, not this version, but you know, doesn't matter. You 
So, um, I, I do prefer Chamber to uh, Philosophers. Mm. I think the characters are more interesting. And they actually, a really cool thing about Chamber of Secrets is they started peppering in some of the lore. So, like, yeah, the, Horcru just starting. the Horcruxes are introduced by the diary. And you really start learning more about the world. And, like, so you learn about the racism and the divide between them. Oh, there's them. a lot in it, yeah. I really like Chamber it's of Secrets just as, for that. It's not fluffy anymore, basically. No, I mean, even after the first book, they had basically gone, it's not as simple as, as it seems. Mm. I mean, that's what, kind of what I really love about um, Chamber of Secrets, really. I, it, I mean, I like all the books, but I've got a weird special place for that, because I remember very specifically reading that, st oh, fuck, staying with my dad and uh, reading that in, at night. Mm. I have a very fond memory. I have a now. similar memory, but with the um, GameCube version of this game with my dad. Really? We used to play this all the time for some reason. I really like the GameCube one. Harry, it Harry, was so uh, good as we played a PS1 version. <laughs> we could still do the GameCube one. I know we could do both. Far in the future. I mean, we would have mean, to leave it for a while now. The, I, I'm, I'm oh, oh wow, fucking Jesus! I'm familiar with all of the games up until about Prisoners of Azkaban. <laughs> Prisoner of Azkaban. I. <laughs> Yeah, these are my sort of only two I ever really played. How many fucking pipes have they got? Right, Harry! I've, I've He's had a few pipes thrown at him. Yeah, this wasn't in the GameCube version. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Sorting out of the ghoul. Surely we should be trying to stop him with magic? No, we've got to catch them. Let him. he got to tire himself out. He's like a child. Maybe there's some fucking plumbing or something with him instead. I mean, Mrs. Mr. Weasley's going to have a fucking bit a fucking fit when he sees <laughs> the plumbing and the heating's all ruined. <laughs> This is this is the first part of a Harry Potter game. How, so you've got to do on a, like thirty of the or twenty five now. Uh, there were sixty in total. What the heck? What is this? I don't know. It's very. Why did they change the original? So in the GameCube version. Oh, that was sick. Basically, you beat up a washing machine. You go do some gnoming in the garden. Is that Ron's mum you're talking about? <laughs> 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 Ooh, burn. Oh, burn. <laughs> <laughs> face it with that kind of face, you could do anything. I just realised he looks like the Matt, the kid off the Max magazine thing. <laughs> or Archie. <laughs> oh, we're well, Dino in the oh, garden. Oh, oh, God, I can't imagine what this is going to look. Whose picture is that in the background? No I've idea. got so many questions. But that texture looks so much better than anyone else. Did they just mm. jump out the window? It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger a little bit, actually. They just jumped out the window? Yeah, I mean... How high up are they? I mean... I don't know. <laughs> These loading times are great. Oh! No, Dad doesn't want you, mate. It's a bit kind of taking the piss that you said it's a Harry Potter, isn't it, really? Let's go find your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Thanks for that, Cam. <laughs> I just watched it back on the playback. You just kind of, like, phase through. Jesus. His bloody run is so weird. Ron's um, jogging animation is amazing. That's kind of. I mean, I, do you think it's a part of a, partly a dream of mine? I wish they re, they redid all of the games after this in this style. <laughs> or it should be an option in the menus to turn on this one. I'd fucking. I'd play the shit out of that. Oh, we got some Bertie bots. Okay, fair nice enough. Nice casting, Hazard. <laughs> That's what people used to fucking call me. Nobody called them that. <laughs> I don't. Not even himself. It looks like um we instead of doing different Bertie bots, we've all just got um they all just goes into one counter. Mm. That's that's pretty cool. These fucking loading screens are brutal. <laughs> so strange never having played this game. It's so different to the other one. Hey, Why oh, does Ginny look older than everyone? Oh, oh my god! Oh <laughs> Why don't you go and shut to her? She did not do well in this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they looked bad, but that is just <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Bloody hell! What? <laughs> <laughs> Why does Ron look younger than Ginny? She's just like a middle-aged woman who's into fucking hummus and <laughs> her vegan recipes. Hello, Harry. She's got like a dog called Colin or something. I'm just after a you, I swear she's you... not wearing shoes. <laughs> oh god, she is! In. <laughs> oh, sorry, it looks like she isn't. Why have you got beans growing in your garden, you strange lady? Mm. Beans can be used to buy famous witches. When you said that, it reminded me of home ago and money can be used <laughs> to buy goods and services. <laughs> Explain how. <laughs> oh no, um, money can be used to buy many peanuts. Explain how. 
Portfolio Magi. I just keep moving her arm like that. That's her only animation. Why is her arm so thin? Hand so thin. She's got flipper hands. Has everyone in this world got fucking weird? Oh, I can't wait to see Hagrid again. I have seen him because I watched a long play of this. Does he still have flipper hands? I am not spoiling it. He has a different outfit though. I can take that. It's what I was we were looking for really. Do we want to bother with this? I think we kind of have to actually. Yeah, go for it. It's fine. I don't think it'll take long. Now. At the time of recording, a specific Harry Potter, I say Harry Potter, a Wizarding World film has come out. Um, I have a couple of questions I want to ask you about Fantastic Beasts, because since we did the other playthrough, which is an older playthrough, I will admit that. It's, well, I'm not hiding Yeah, we've it. just kind of popped it back on. Because uh, I feel like we wanted to do this, and we if you want to watch this, you basically need a little context from the first one. Yeah, because there's going to be jokes we'll probably reference from it, but we don't want to do it again because it was really good. Yeah, I think oh, we're not well, really not good. to. We're going to brag ourselves up, but we enjoyed doing it and we had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I think it's one of my uh, favourite. Um... And there's, we have referenced it in a lot of other playthroughs that we've done in the past. Yeah, the Golden Eye one, especially that. Hagrid. Oh, God. <laughs> the Hagrid joke. Um, anyway, oh, so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just thinking about that now. Or well, Ethan's girlfriend. <laughs> Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a couple of questions that I want to ask you about the Wizarding World brand, as it's called now. Because it's not called the Harry Potter film, it's, it's called the Wizarding World. No, it's expanded. Proof of that now. HMV the other day. They've now bought a box out with Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts films in. Really? Hmm. They're not even finished, though. Well, the first film, for some reason. I say the, the, the first... Another re-release of Harry Potter. I'm okay with that. But um, something I want to ask you is, what do you think of that, that using that as a brand now? Instead of Harry Potter... It's weird. I get why they're doing it, because they really are trying to create this encompassing thing. There's obviously the website, Pottermore, and obviously all these books, and Fantastic Beasts, you've got the play. There's so much now, but it is expanded. It's not just Harry Potter anymore, so I guess that's why they rebranded it, because the original Harry Potter is so vital to those other stories yeah. and plays, which... It wouldn't work without it. I, f I am interested in them creating new stories for that world. I, however, do not think you need to have that brand. I think it's okay just to... Because fans of it will know. Oh, yeah, I suppose there is that. It's not going to get lost. I think it devalues Harry Potter as a franchise, though. That is as a becoming genre. a risk as these films come out. Oh! <laughs> it's not brilliant, but it's not terrible. Mark William Williams, I'm so sorry, mate. Just it's not as bad as Jimmy's one. Um, so, I have seen the new Fantastic Beasts film. I have not at this recording session. Probably by the next recording session, I would have watched it. So, um, I have some thoughts on it, and I will not spoil them. I will not spoil them. We probably shouldn't film. do too much. We might as well wait until I've seen it as well, but we can do a bit. I know. What, what I was going to bring up was my thoughts, non spoilery thoughts, are to do with partly the branding of that Wizard and World thing. Because I think. Making a sequel to Fantastic Beasts was a mistake. Okay. I think making that franchise is a mistake because the thing with Harry Potter is. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that was good. Um, so basically, with Harry Potter, it has a through line. When you start it, you know that it's a bigger story because they set up that it's a bigger story when you. Um, when you finish the um because you know he's got more years to go at hogwarts yeah that's the framing device for having seven books there's seven years at hogwarts ergo he has se seven books you know what i mean with fantastic beasts it's not as clear cut as that not really so when i watched the sequel you got to break oh you got to drop it higher like okay. i wasn't into the film I wasn't into the first one either. No, I've kind of gonna... had that from the start. You've never been overly interested in it, which is okay. You don't have to be. There we go. Um, you know, I thought it was all right, but it, it, I think it. What I would have preferred is instead of films, why don't you do a short mini series, like a TV mini series? I'd be in for that because I well, think. Smash it on the rocks. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's what you get for not paying attention. Um, I, I, <laughs> Jesus. That's right, Harry. Keep going. Look at his left arm. <laughs> um, I think uh, it's kind of what Marvel was doing at the minute, where they've expanded their content. Where Netflix have some made some of the series. Well, at the moment. Uh, yeah, that could change. But um, I think. Oh. Is he wearing Crocs? 
Uh, I think it would it would do that franchise good to do things other than films. So if you have an eight episode mini series that basically covers the events of Fantastic Beasts, that would have been a lot more interesting to me. It would have been cool. It would have mean you could have a different storytelling format to um, the original Harry Potter films, and therefore it would be a bit more interesting to watch. Mm. I know some of people's problem with these Fantastic Beasts is that they're meddling with information or things we were told in Harry Potter, which have now changed. Yeah, okay, one thing I'm going to spoil about Fantastic Beasts, which is something I told you last night, it's not really a spoiler. Again, it's a spoiler of how it affected me going in and coming mm. out of the film. Coming out is very, very important, what I'm going to say. The thing about Dumbledore and Grindelwald, it, it was an implication in the original story. Mm. And... J.K. Rowling basically confirmed that that was the reason why he... Dumbledore didn't have anybody when he was older. Yeah. Oh, God, this is completely different. So... It looks a lot harder than it is in the... Oh! <laughs> oh, it really burn you when you get zero in this one. <laughs> Try again, Harry. Try again, Harry. Um, that feels really weird. <laughs> She's speaking right to you. There you go. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> right, so um, the, uh, the in Fantastic Beasts, the thing with Grindelwald and Dumbledore mm. is kind of retconned, as if they that they weren't lovers or double. At least, at the very least, the point um, Dumbledore was in love with Grindelwald is what you're meant to take away from. That. Right. Yeah. They kind of retcon it for a different thing, and it it ruins it ruins the implication. And the power of what it was in Harry Potter. Oh. And for me, I was always like, I think it's cool that. Uh, why is there a fucking telephone box in there? Fuck that? knows. They're just trying to make it more interesting because they can't fit proper textures in it. <laughs> um, I think it made Dumbledore more interesting. Okay. Because it showed that he wasn't infallible. And the things that make Harry Potter strong, his love and the love that his mother had for him, yep. make Dumbledore. Are weaknesses for him. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. It provided the contrast between the two and showed that while Dumbledore knew about that kind of magic and that kind of power, score, he couldn't use it. Yeah. Really no. no, it really wasn't, mate. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. So that's something I don't like about Fantastic Beasts. I think it, it ruined and explains a part of the story that did not that was better than not off not being explained. Fair enough. I remember reading How something. How fucking short were they? Jesus, what happened there? So I can't deal with children, mate. Oh, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> there's the dead one and the one with one ear. <laughs> yeah, look what happened to Fred. He's lost a couple of centimeters on him now. Oh, it's awful. Um, what was I saying? I remember reading because um, spoiled myself. Apparently, McGonagall's in it then. Second film. Is she? I genuinely didn't Apparently. notice. I genuinely didn't notice. Okay, fresh my gonna be like a young anyway. But apparently they got like the dates completely wrong. So like yeah. she was teaching like yeah. eight years before she was even born or that, something. That was something I really noticed when I watched it. It's like, does Jacob Rowling even know her own universe anymore? <laughs> so I, that's the thing. That's the, another thing I was thinking about. Is Oh the washing machine's back! <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be that excited. Where's Molly? And then we're using it. But don't worry, Harry. Just saying you never see them in the same room at the same time. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go so much so many complaints for that, rightfully so. <laughs> okay, this is the washing machine is just a thing to drop. Yeah. This is quite hard, actually. Jesus. For like opening thing, they're really getting you in there. I need a dodge mechanic. <laughs> And what a spell to accidentally use. <laughs> this is tense. Yeah. Oh my god, I killed him! I blew his ear off. That's only once, you got to do it twice. Can I do a diet? Oh, look his neck! Oh. <laughs> Keep <him> shuffling! <laughs> Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> Just walking into the party like, <laughs> Oh god, Harry. 
I'm not gonna get hit as well. I'm not gonna do this one. This one's really hard. Does it ramp up each level when, every time you beat? Yeah, it feels like it is. It seems to be faster. I like dodging more. Well, it's because he's running, I'm shuffling. <laughs> Got him. A final cadaver! <laughs> I hate this animation. Oh my god! <laughs> I look pretty brutal. My face! <laughs> <laughs> my face! <laughs> Man! Oh god. See the way it's sparkling? That means it's got yeah, smash the TV up. To get the special jinx, you have to force me to hit the TV with one of my jinxes. That what? will release an orb. My rose! <laughs> I am not an animal. <laughs> I am a man. <laughs> you can see that they've been dueling each other a lot to look like that. That's important. Come on. One's like, fuck, what do you do to my brother, you monster? You and Voldemort are exactly the same. <laughs> she got to smash the TV, basically. I think he's got to do it. There you go. There you go. Jesus. Jesus Christ. You just have to keep doing it until that attack hits, basically, I think. There you go. No, no don't let him hit you. Like, oh, that's right, you're okay still. <laughs> this doesn't look a Varda Kadabra. This is weirdly specific. Hmm. This spell will make you shit yourself. <laughs> oh! I don't get why they'd be dueling. Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> this spell's going to give you a boner for four hours. <laughs> It hurts! <laughs> but if you touch it, you piss yourself. Terrific stuff. Of specific conditions. <laughs> no, it, it gives you a boner, but the only thing you can think about is your mum. <laughs> oh, poor Harry. <laughs> oh! Makes it worse because your mum's fucking dead. In which state should I be thinking about her? <laughs> oh! <laughs> No, you have to think about the con your conception. That's what you need to be thinking about. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> this pl this playthrough is oh. starting off so badly. <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying that I have to basically hide by that fucking TV. Yeah. Yeah, some music might be nice in the background <laughs> of this scene. Like, no, I guess we didn't need that. Soundtrack? Nah, no, I didn't pay for that. <laughs> How fast is he? He's like probably dodge rolling every single. Mm. It's like a shotgun blast. We need to think of some more creative things that these spells do. So the green <laughs> one, um, uh, <laughs> the green one makes you um, projectile vomit. Makes you see through your ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> what kind of torture that is. Well His vision completely on the side of your head. You can't see anything directly in front of you. Oh! <laughs> I can't <through. laughs> Oh no, one of them turns you into Hagrid. Right, I'll right. take ten. <laughs> My hands! <laughs> Can't you just hit him normally? Does that not do anything? One of them turns you into Dumbledore. Gay. <laughs> oh no, one of them... <laughs> got a really cruel one. Okay. Um, one of them makes you gay, but the only... Makes <laughs> Fred gay, but it only makes him find his brother attractive. <laughs> That's, a lovely one. That's a lovely roast. Yeah, you show that lamppost. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, my nipples. <laughs> So dumb. This is taking fucking forever. It really is. Why is this section here? There we go. I think she's trying to get you used to the one. Crucio! <laughs> Please don't oh! let to do it again. Starts vomiting slugs everywhere. Okay. Oh, cool. she breaks his wand in half. You're a natural, Harry. Oh, sorry, that's just the way I said it. No. <laughs> Fuck no. Jesus. <laughs> this game, this game. I think we should uh, just think we could oh, be playing the um, Spanish version of um, Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> just something I forgot to mention. The first time I bought Chamber of Secrets, it was a Spanish version. Here come it's Das, Potter! 
No wonder it was like three quid. <laughs> Ron's dad's a prick. He just doesn't give a fuck about the plant. Just leaves his fucking shit everywhere. No. If you can see the rest of my neck, Harry. <laughs> I don't know why you want to eat chocolate that's on the floor. I found a dairy milk over there. I didn't even think twice about eating it. <laughs> I'm sure my best on this. <laughs> a soggy frog. Chocolate sog. 